Hello, my name is Rebecca and welcome to my video. I am in New York for a couple of days, so I wanted to take you guys to all of the bookstores that I see. I know I'm going to the Harry Potter store later on so we're also going to go there and whatever else I do this week. But I'm just going to film this as I go so it's not going to be super chronological showing you all of the cool different bookstores that I see. So come along with me. The first bookstore that I stopped at was the Housing Works Bookstore and Cafe. And this bookstore has an eclectic selection of both used and new books, which all the proceeds actually go to those suffering HIV and AIDS. There's Swifty. You might recognize this bookstore from the all too well 10 minute version uh, music video, but they also have a lot of interesting and high profile events in which there's readings and music but if you don't come here during an event i would really recommend grabbing a book grabbing a cup of coffee from the cafe and doing a little bit of reading and a little bit of people watching it's definitely a must go to if you're a reader or even if you're just a swifty i think this is a great place to go to Central Park, waiting for some friends we're gonna meet up with. There's so much people watching to do here. I think this might be where Enchanted, that one scene that Enchanted was filmed, but not a hundred percent sure. Is that right? Yep. He's having a little snack. Nom, 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 nom. He's so cute. and Sugar Town Bookstore in Brooklyn. This is an independent bookstore with a small curated selection of books regarding literary fiction, poetry, and art. went to the Strand and this bookstore was absolutely incredible. They had this really cute blind date with a book selection happening at that time and they had an absolutely incredible selection of books. Really every book that you would want. They even had this cute little coffee shop inside the bookstore but we really did not have enough time. I wish we had more because we actually had to go to the Harry Potter store and this was an incredible experience for any Harry Potter fan even if you've just seen the movies I think it's really worth it they had little areas where it was candies and books and different houses and it was a bit crowded even though we did have to get into an online queue but I think it was definitely worth the hassle <laughs> Okay. 
They're like putting their lips on it. This is four. Oh, I think three. Three? Yeah. You're Slytherin. You're <laughs> Slytherin. in Brooklyn but it is sadly closed today because it's a holiday it's New Year's but there is this little cute free little library right across from it which is very cute and it has like a bunch of books in here all shoved in all oh, American marriage all sorts of stuff let's see Okay, well, that was a fail, but we will find some more stuff. This is McNally Independent Bookstore. It does not look promising. Um, we shall see if it's actually open today. It is closed. But here are some of the books in the window. tiny mini haul of what I got. The book that I did get at the Strand, a friend is borrowing that and that is Lucy by the Sea and this is a novel. Um, during the COVID pandemic in Maine, I also got two things which I think are great for souvenirs. It is really unique um, and like artsy postcards. Um, I bought two. This is my second one. I still need to send this one out. And the last thing I got was a tote. I love a practical souvenir. Sorry about the noise, I have stuff in here. Uh, and a little butt on the back. So how cute is that? They had all sorts of different types of totes at the Strand. So if you, you don't have room for a book, I think a tote is a great souvenir. Well, that's my video let me know if you've been to some of the bookstores i try to go to but it was new year's day let me know how they are should i try again on my next trip to new york if you want to see more videos uh, give a like and subscribe